So you just invited me over for some brownies in the middle of the day? Yes. Oh, and I opened your mail and I saw your nudie pictures. Would you like some milk? What? Oh my God! Your father gave me the letter. I just wanted to add some things. Well, did you mail the pictures? No, but I will as soon as I find them. What? Well, don't worry. I'm sure nobody else saw them. Hey, Kitty, have you seen the car key? Oh, Donna. God, you too? I was looking for the damn car keys. <laughs> this drawer is for car keys and and magnets. That's it. Well, where are they now? <laughs> Whoa. Holy hell. I know, man. Where's Marmaduke? Hey, Donna. <laughs> What's so funny? Guess I'm just a happy guy. Hey, it's a naked lady from the newspaper. <laughs> okay, here it comes. Uh, I have just one question for you. Does my wife know you were licking her boots? <laughs> Donna, I'm writing the letter to the newspaper about your photo essay. Here's what I have so far. Yes! <laughs> okay, just tell me where the pictures are. Hey, not to worry. I hid them in a Barry White album. Great. Where's that? You'll have to ask the guy who bought it, duh. Knock, knock. Who's there? Fess and Barry White. <laughs> Please, Leo. You have to remember who you sold that record to. Think, who have you seen today? Well, I remember a guy with scraggly hair and a beard, and he was brushing his teeth. That was you in a mirror. And then there's this other guy with big lips and another guy with long hair and another guy with a thumbtack in his head. That would be the Aerosmith poster. You know, I've been trapped in this vortex before. There is a way we can jog his memory. It was Fez, man.